more now with our special guest with us tonight, Bill Smolin, who has expertise in national security uh, from Syracuse University. And we appreciate you being here to give us some perspective. Uh, we were just chatting briefly. You're, you're saying there have been numerous, at least ISIS-type inspired or uh, radical Islam-inspired attacks in this country since September 11th. There have. 23, uh, to be precise. That's far too many. And we need to do something about it, in my view. And I think we can. I think we can do it right here in Syracuse. There's a model program in Dearborn, Michigan. It's called an intervention program. It happens to be the largest Muslim population in the United States. And when there was talk about uh, doing something uh, untoward towards the, a Muslim, they uh, put this program together. <clears throat> Law enforcement is involved, schools are involved, medical personnel are involved, parents are involved. And if they see something or hear something that sounds untoward, not right, with regard to behavior or talk, they report it. Mm. And they bring the individual in and find out why he or she is doing or saying what they are doing or saying. And I think that's important. And so they are committed to it. We've, they have even had parents reporting sons or daughters who are talking out. Well, in, in this case, that we've learned today that Saipov did have people who knew him right. and had concerns that he might go down this road uh, at some point. But, it, but, but the law enforcement maybe didn't know. Right. I think individually we have to be a little bit more vigilant. Uh, we're coming up on the holidays, a lot of soft targets out there. Uh, everywhere you go, whether it's uh, to a shopping mall or to a recreation area, there are people who could do something that would be rather horrific if you think about it. So I think we have to be looking left and right into our rear to be sure that there's no one that looks like they're up to something. And with regard to renting a truck, uh, it would be so easy if they got involved when someone uh, wants a truck that, like the one used yesterday, right. and yeah. asks a simple question. What are you going to use this for? Yeah, sure, and if sure, the sure. answer doesn't sound right, if it's not for a home renovation, pick up that phone yeah. and report it to law enforcement so we can do something before something bad happens. Bill, we've seen these sort of attacks overseas. We're now seeing this in New York City. Right. I think that generally speaking, people in Syracuse and central New York feel safe. Sure. We're not a big city. Right. Uh, people might not think that we would be targeted. Are we at the place now uh, in this dangerous world that we live in where we too need to be concerned? This is the new normal, and I think we have to accept that it could happen in our backyard. It could happen here in Syracuse. And I talk to my students and, and people that I'm in front of, and I say, be cautious, be vigilant, be aware. When you walk into that shopping mall, if someone doesn't look like he or she belongs there or has something in their hands that doesn't look right, pause and, and perhaps have more security during these uh, tr times that are coming up, holiday times that are coming up. So we need to get involved. Uh, Senator De Moynihan wrote a, an article in 1990, it was called Defining Deviancy Down. And what he said was, the public had become tolerant of intolerant behavior. We can't become tolerant. We have to do something about bad behavior or intolerant behavior. And I think if we take it upon ourselves to get involved, to report something that doesn't look or sound right, I think we're going to be a lot safer. Okay. Thank Bill you. Smullen, thank you so much for your expertise. You're welcome. We appreciate thank it. You. Great appreciate to see you. Thank you.